Hey, welcome back to Impossible. Next up, I have Virgos. Where are my possible Virgos at? So, Virgos, as you already know, I was doing more motivations Monday through Friday. But the energy, that took a toll on me. But I'm doing weekly motivations at this time. I'm going to be um, providing you with Bible verses. That will be your title. If you have a problem with that, go to another channel. Okay, I'm going to be giving you your oracle messages here, what to pay attention to for the week. And um, my other channel, I'm Possible 2.0, will be your general readings. Okay? All right, so let's begin with your angel. The time now is 436, which is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 is 4. So you're concerned about household matters. Okay, stability, security. So let's see what your oracles hey, say today uh, for this week. Let's see. This is going to be a short video. Okay, not like the general readings. Okay, so your angel is 20... Um, Sabriel, 23 is 5. So you're going through the changes, rising above. You're going through a powerful transformation at this time. Okay, some of you guys may work in the medical field, students out there going back to school. Okay, concerned about your health. All right, but rising above health issues. Not uh, try to get out of your head when it comes to health issues. Okay, but a lifestyle change that you're going through at this time. But powerful, powerful, like Phoenix. Uh, okay, yes. Mm -hmm. But Sabriel, angel of impossible miracles. So expect impossible miracles to happen in your life. Virgos, okay? Have an expectancy. Angel of impossible miracles, okay? Swift. So there's a swift change coming, guys. Astonishing surprises. Be prepared. Prepare yourself. Miracle cure, okay? Spark of wonder. Rapid healing and vitality. Call on me when you need an impossible miracle, and I will set a series of events into motion to bring it about. Bloodstone, many timelines, and surprises. So be prepared for surprises, Virgos. Okay? Yes. That's beautiful. Let me get your affirmation. Okay. I am capable of manifesting anything I want. That is your affirmation. I am capable of manifesting anything I want. And you're going through a purification process with the rain. But your blessings are going to be raining down on you. Miracles. Okay. Yes. Let me get a money affirmation for you. Okay. It says money stress. So some of you guys are stressed out about money. You have many options here. I do see a party or a celebration of some sort and a promotion. Okay, yes, but money stress. Visualize your money stress and a balloon floating away. So release all stress of money. Just release it. I know it's easier said than done, but Spirit wants you to release it. Okay, I release money anxiety. That is your affirmation. I release money anxiety. Okay, I release money anxiety. I am capable of manifesting anything I want. Okay, believe in the impossible Virgos. Okay. Philosopher. Okay, some of you guys are studious. Okay, professors out there. But studying. Okay, reading a lot more. Enlightening yourself. Building your knowledge and your wisdom. Right? Your gifts. Enjoys research and knowledge. Okay, so researching, building your knowledge, like I said. Excellent conversationalist, communication, networking. Okay, intelligent and analytical. Okay, so sharing your knowledge. All right, challenges. Okay, your challenges. Dislikes uneducated people. So try not to judge people. Okay, uh, Virgos. Feels superior to others. Again, don't let your title go to your head and don't let you feel like you're better than people. Okay, argumentative. Try not to argue with people this week. Okay, you state your opinion, and that's that. Okay, lesson, you learn that mastery over the mind is the key to success. So you're mastering one mind at this time. But be mindful of how you speak to others and how you treat others. Okay, this week. That is a test. Okay, yes. Let me get one of these first. It says infinite possibilities. Okay, eight. All right. So infinite possibilities it is. All right. But you're still manifesting. Okay. And whatever you're manifesting is coming to light. All right. 
but keep a positive mindset and try to pass the test, okay? But infinite possibilities. Yes, wow, beautiful. Okay, balloons, a lot of balloons, but let your anxiety go and stress when it comes to money. And it says, notice the signs. Yes, you're ascending. Notice the signs. So pay attention to your dreams, synchronicities, your downloads, music, anything. What people have to say, notice it. And when how people speak to you. Okay? Because you're gonna have you're gonna have some tests where people are being sarcastic and try not to argue with them or argue that argue them down. Okay? Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. So if you're finding dimes and nickels quarters that is your ancestors and your spirit guys say don't give up we're still with you okay we're always with you just stay prayed up and focus and pass the test okay so being kind and staying away from the bullshit okay yes you know you could take it there but spirit is saying don't take it there okay don't kill people with kindness Five fifteen. Some of you guys may be dealing with a Taurus or be seeing repeating numbers. A, a lot of repeating numbers. Five fifteen. Five one five. Five one five. Mirrored numbers. Mirrored. You're going through a mirror energy. Self reflection and introspection. Self development. It's your life. It's your life. Make decisions based on what's best for you. Don't allow other people's opinions and judgments to to hold your dreams and happy life hostage. Again, you're gonna have a challenging moment where somebody's gonna challenge you, but you have to pass the test because you're in control of your life, okay? And try not to share your ideas with anybody, okay? And be mindful of who you collaborate with, with this, this week um, in terms of business and work, okay? Mindful, mindful, okay? You know your worth, okay? You don't have to prove anything to anybody. It's all, it's all about proving it to yourself and following your life purpose, okay? eggs you'll give yourself a fresh start some of you guys may be pregnant at this time some of you guys may love eggs or have a chicken farm of some sort but eggs fresh a fresh start is coming guys some of you guys may be moving planning to move but whatever it is that you're concerned about it's coming but giving yourself a fresh start right cleansing yourself purification process okay rising above the bullshit okay yes <laughs> so these are your challenges this week Okay, your oracle messages. Okay, loving space. You give it, giving people their space, their loving space. I don't mean you no harm. Okay, everything is happening in divine time in your life, and especially when it comes to your heart centered, you know, heart chakra. You're working on your heart chakra, healing oneself. Okay, but there's definitely love coming in in divine timing. Okay, a true love, but you giving people their loving space. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. All right? But I cannot learn other people's lessons for them. They must get there themselves at their own time. I can see, simply hold loving space for them as they go through their journey. That's it. Everyone has their own walk of life. You can't save the world. Uh, Virgos, you guys could be opinionated, but not this time around. You have to release them with love. Go about your business, okay? Yes. Releasing people, your children, whoever, a relationship, goodbye, okay? Yes. I need to return that phone call. And in the near future, so th something is happening in the near future, but your ancestors are with you and guiding you. So pay attention to the signs and synchronicity and your dreams along the way. But try not to get into any arguments with people as well. Okay? Yes. All right? So let me pull some tarot to see what comes out for you guys. Yeah, some of you guys may be confused or losing something or... Yeah, here we go. It's right in front of your face though. Yes, closing out cycles. OK, 
okay? Endings. Putting all the love and care into yourself. Deciding on things. Opportunities opening up. Expectations. But you have to close out cycles and let people go on their own way. Okay? Yes. But there's decisions here. But try not to overthink things and think things thoroughly through until you make a decision. Okay? But you have to close out certain cycles with people and you know this. You have to send them on their way with love. Okay? So it's like closing out cycles and focusing on yourself. You. You. Yeah, try not to get into any arguments, like I said, okay? Like, by standing your ground and, oh, because the, with the Five of Swords, there's a lot of jealousy. It could, could be a lot of gossip, competition, okay? But whatever it is, try to control your anger. This is your challenge. Try to control your anger and try not to, try to walk away. Turn your back to this. Turn your back and say whatever, okay? Because you're entering into a new cycle, okay? Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I do see you standing your ground with people. Yeah, there's a tower woman coming. Again, in the near future. Okay? Where there's going to be an argument that takes place. But Spirit is advising that you be the bigger person here. Okay? Yes. Things are going to be shaken up. Okay? But again, whatever it is that's coming to you, notice the signs. Okay? Because this is having to do with a fresh start. Okay, so kaboom, argument, ah, bah, bah, not getting along with neighbors or family or co-worker. No, try to ignore it because there's something huge happening in your life. Boom, a surprise that's coming. Okay, yes. But whatever it is, you feel like chaos and trauma, whatever it is, it's entering into a new phase. Try to pass the obstacle and try not to get into any arguments or fights or get arrested because this could be a physical fight as well. This argument could lead into a physical fight, which could cause which could cause you to get arrested and somebody get hurt here and then so think it's all about thinking and choosing your battles wisely this week. Okay, Virgos? Alright. Because it could really land you in a shithole. Okay, some of you guys may be getting a divorce or serve papers or your kids or an accident. Try yeah, so just tread lightly, okay? Yes. All right, and let me pick one more, and I'm closing out your reading, Virgos. <clears throat> it could be over family. It could be your spouse. Whatever it is, okay, it says, who am I ready to forgive? You got to forgive and release. Bye. That's loving space. Bye. Okay, yes. Don't, don't do it to yourself. Okay, so who am I ready to forgive? I am not what happened to me. I am who I chose to become. So you got to release the past anger and forgive yourself and whatever happened to you in a childhood wounding or whatever it may have happened to you or a person did, I forgive you. It's hard to say or it's, and it's hard to do. I understand because I have a problem with it. Okay, but you have to forgive and release. I am not what happened to me. I am who I chose to become. Okay, stay focused. It is time to let go, forgive, and move forward. Is your soul ready to forgive someone else or yourself? Forgiveness brings sweet release, freedom, and insight. Look at it from their shoes. Notice how you grew and what you learned. Who do you want to become and how is this resistance holding you from what your soul wants? Write a forgiveness letter, then practice the hopo, nopo, nopo <laughs> prayer today while thinking of the person you are ready to forgive. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. You can write that to yourself. But it says, Ho opono pono. Ho opono opono. <laughs> okay? Prayer today. All right? So, yes. Who am I ready to forgive? And this is what it says. Okay? Your Bible verse will be the title of this video. And I'm going to also put the verse within... Um, the, my description box. All right, Virgos, I love you guys. I have to go. I'm possible. You're possible. Check out I'm possible 2.0 for your new videos. I'm out.